Hi, this is Peter from the DJ Podcast. In this video on extreme mapping, we're going to look at how to create MIDI mappings for the native instruments control line of MIDI controllers. Now when you first launch extreme mapping, it's going to give you a blank mapping. And what you need to do is actually go ahead and close that mapping. Then you're going to want to go to the file menu, go to new, and then select the particular type of controller that you want to be mapping. So for us, we're going to select the control X1. So now we have a new mapping window open, and it doesn't look any different than the other ones, but it actually is because it knows that we want to be using the control X1. If I go ahead and add a command, I'll go to add in, then I'll go to effects unit, and then I'll go to dry wet. When I go ahead and click on the mapped to field, you'll see that I now have the option of normal and shift. I can then go ahead and select on which side of the controller, left or right, go to left, then you'll see that I actually have the name of the particular controls rather than just simply MIDI notes. So I can go ahead and select DW for dry wet, and now I have mapped that control. One thing that is important to note is that the learn function is unavailable when mapping using the controllers this way. The learn function would normally allow you to move a control on your controller to map to a command on your computer. I should point out that you can still use the wizards. So if you go ahead and select wizard, then we'll go mixer, two channels. You can still map using the wizard by simply clicking on this drop down menu and then selecting a command to use. But again, you cannot use the learn command. So that's how you can use extreme mapping with the native instruments line of control MIDI controllers. Extreme mapping is sold exclusively on the Apple App Store. And if you'd like to buy it, you can visit bit.ly slash buy extreme. You can also visit ExtremeMapping.com for more information.